Hey guys and welcome back to yet another GCSE revision lesson. Now within this lesson what I wanted to share with you is a really easy technique that you can use to answer any language paper one and paper two question. In fact this technique is so easy it's actually criminal more GCSE students don't know it okay. It's one of the great tragedies when I'm looking through some of my students responses when I'm in my master classes and I'm telling and I'm sharing this technique with my students that they didn't even know it exists and once they know it they can literally have that as their go-to technique in the final GCSE language paper one and paper two exams. What is this technique you may ask? This technique that literally you can use as your cheat code for language paper one and paper two exams is a declarative sentence. Stay with me for a second and let me tell you firstly what it means and also why it's such a powerful technique that if you commit it to memory you will literally you are guaranteed to find that technique in any language paper one fiction insert that you read but also the two non-fiction inserts that you read for language paper two. Now as I said Firstly, let's quickly go over what a declarative sentence is, okay? Once and for all, you'll now literally understand exactly what this technique is and actually how easy it is to incorporate it into any essays that you do for language paper one and paper two. Now remember that, firstly, a declarative sentence is literally a sentence that states a fact, feeling or mood. It is any sentence that you read in the English vocabulary. Right now, even as I'm speaking, I'm speaking in a series of declarative sentences. That's the first thing. So. In addition to knowing this, remember that in terms of the way a declarative sentence is structured, you can find it either in long sentences or short sentences. In other words, a declarative sentence can either be a simple, compound or complex sentence. And as I said before, it is the most common type of sentence in written and spoken English. Now, let me tell you why knowing this sentence is so powerful and you can literally use it as your go-to technique when you're doing your language paper one uh, exams as well as your language paper two exams. And to be honest, if you're doing literature as well, say for instance, you're doing Macbeth or one of the other Shakespeare plays, when you're mentioning your technique, you can also talk about Shakespeare's declarative sentence, okay? It's literally that easy. And that's why it's so tragic that not enough students know about this technique, okay? So, as I said, this technique is especially perfect and useful for when it comes to language paper one, if you're answering question number two, this is the sentence form question, okay? So you ask, how does the writer use language to describe blah, blah, blah? You've got three bullet points and then you've got a third sentence form bullet point. You just literally insert declarative sentence into that response. It's also perfect, of course, for question number three because it is a sentence type. Therefore, you're automatically answering structure. And of course, also for question number four of the uh, student statements, remember obviously language everyone always tells you, a student having read this said, blah, blah, blah. If you're agreeing, if you're disagreeing, if you're partly agreeing, whatever you go for, you then mention, you know, uh, your evidence and the writer in this declarative sentence illustrates blah 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 okay that's for language paper one but also this uh, sentence type is perfect in paper two especially for question number two this is the summary question when you're finding similarities or differences between sources a and source b and also this uh, sentence type is perfect for question number four which is the writer's viewpoints and perspectives question because remember the second bullet point always asks you to comment on the writer's methods. Methods means language and structure. And again, your go-to is just simply a declarative sentence, okay? Hence why, as I said, this is just basically a cheat code. Just use it for all your responses and especially in your final GCSEs when you're answering the questions and the exams, you already know that you're going into the exam with that technique in mind. And as I said, even if it's a sentence, right, and it's technically structure, it also counts as a general sentence form. So even when you're answering the language questions, just literally take declarative sentences and then couple them with another language technique. For instance, again, I've done this plenty of times with my students in my master class. I'll pick out, for example, a simile as a light as a feather, for instance, right? When you then explain the technique in the language question, you can literally simply say, the writer uses a simile in this declarative sentence. You couple them in that way. Uh, and what that means is that you're hitting both language techniques and terminology, which is your AO2, but also you're showing awareness of structure too, okay? So this technique is absolutely brilliant. And I would say, commit it to memory and just have it as your go-to when you're sitting your final language paper one and paper two exams. Thank you, thank you so much for listening and I hope this helps.